Hello and welcome to this training video on how to run your very first payroll using WagePoint. Once you have logged into the WagePoint portal, you'll need to select the Payroll tab. From the Payroll tab, if you have multiple pay groups set up, select the appropriate one. For this particular demonstration today, we have our employee set up for a bi-weekly pay cycle. Select the Next button. From here, since this is the very first pay cycle you will be creating, it is important to double check three important fields. One is the first day of the pay cycle, the second one is the last day of the pay cycle, and the third one is the pay date. This is the date in which employees will be paid. Click on the date and you'll notice that a calendar populates. Let's set the pay cycle now. From here, select Next. You'll notice here that the hourly employees populate first. We'll get to the salary employees on the next screen. For this demonstration, Jenny Moore is our hourly employee. We can see from our employee setup that her base rate is already $20 an hour. Let's add in her hours now. Now if we had an additional income types, we can select it here from the top right hand corner. For instance, perhaps it's a bonus we want to pay her. Let's put in a $100 bonus. And select Save and Next. For the next screen you'll notice we are now going to process payroll for salary employees. Same thing, the salary is set up through the employees portal. And from the top right hand corner, we can select additional income types. Again, let's select Bonus. Select Save and Preview. From here, we're going to get information relating to each employee. If you want to double check the calculations, you can select the View button here, or simply View All. You'll be able to see the income as well as the deductions and what the total net pay is for each employee. It's important to confirm the payroll and then approve. And there you go. That is how you run your very first payroll using WagePoint. 